Welcome back. This is Lone Wolf and we're playing Vintage Story 1.19.4 Release Candidate 1 and we're collecting Slate because we've actually oh okay we've actually built something akin to a house started on it um, I really like the direction that it's gone. Started putting a slate slanted roof on it, along with the roof gaps, and found out that what I had was oh so too little for the size of the building that I made. I didn't make a tiny build building. I certainly didn't make an enormous building either, but the slate that I'd collected, which I didn't think I'd collected a whole ton of it, by the way. I mean, I wasn't delusioned by it, but uh, yeah, it, it, it only went so far. So we came back here to collect iron because we found a great, uh, a huge, as the pro pick stated, a huge deposit. And... I only had 20 nuggets of iron left, so I thought it was a good time to come and get some more. And I didn't remember or pay attention whatsoever to the fact that there was slate here. So I, I was thinking only come get iron, but the fact that the slate is here and I need so much for my roof I decided this is an excellent time for me to gather it. Because I need I need tons probably literally of this stuff, I don't know. So that's what we're doing. We are in the iron mine cave where there is also sulfur. I have not explored this cave very far at all. And this cave is found uh, going through the translocator that I placed near my home. And comes way far away. And so that's the first step to get here because it is just, it is a long way from home. And I thought about it, and since this is not some uh, valid playthrough, let's play anything like that, this is just a test world, I decided, yeah, I'm going to place the translocator. And boy, am I glad I did. So, so far from my home. I just don't, I don't think if I... I think if I didn't make, put the translocator in, I know I would not have wanted to return to the area because I was that far from home. But I had, I had three problems facing me in this world and they were critical things. No horsetail, so no bandages that I had any time soon, any hope of any time soon getting. Um, no, f no regular type of forest that I had found while playing on this world, which means where am I going to find bees? And then there was a third critical problem. And all three of those have been solved. I've, oh, the third one was resin. No resin, no automation, no automation. Ain't no way I'm going to play on a world where I can't have automation. So, all three of those critical problems to me have had solutions found. Because here, well, where I came through, where I put the translocator and I came through, I uh, 
I did find a beehive and I found acacia trees bearing resin so two of my problems were solved and then I went and poked my head in my farm and I had completely forgot about the concept that when your farm is sitting fallow that uh, it not only grows grass uh, let's not do that uh, when your when your farm is fallow not only does it produce grass but it also grows horsetail so all three of my challenges have been resolved and I am now a happy player on this world because everything I need that I can think of that I've come across all of my needs are now uh, have the ability to be met you know that looks like an awful lot of uh, late slanted roof pieces and I don't want to make I don't want to make tons of extras oh wolf oh my goodness wolf you act like you don't know how to make that step there but you do anyways so all three of my critical to me problems have all been addressed in one form or another and now yeah it's great I have set up over by my base a gigantic field of cultivated land and I've placed uh, water tr water channels to keep it from getting dry because nothing will grow on it don't think so doesn't matter but I did it differently than I would for my farm because when I make farms the way that water works at this point in terms of its hydration the block that it's right next to will have hydration of 75 percent the second block from the water will have hydration of 50 percent the third block away from the water will have hydration of 25 percent so I have my cultivated land five wide with uh, a water channel and then another five wide and then another water channel I'm going to go overboard at least on collecting the stones I'm looking at what I've got and I might already have enough slate slanted roof blocks I don't know but there's no way I'm going home and not have enough for what I need I don't need to turn them into roof parts right now but doing that was important because I wouldn't have been able to carry enough I don't think slate home with me I would have run out of inventory space before I could uh, before I could uh, get enough slate to do what I need to do so I was really happy to find some clay just nearby easy peasy So I've been able to take these stacks of slate stones and turn them into slanted slate roof blocks, which is highly compacting. So for one stack of slanted slate roof, it actually requires 
nine stacks of the stones and a stack of clay. So each stack of slanted slate roof bricks that I have represent nine stacks of slate stone. Pretty huge compaction. I'm really glad that I thought about uh, getting some clay and that I was really lucky to find some nearby. Grateful to have the iron, the iron pickaxes, brought a spare one with me. That was wise. I think I want to fill this stack only and call that good for this trip. Oh, you left me short one. So of course now I have one extra. church stays there which is just fine oh yeah oh yeah yeah I've got three full stacks plus enough to make another full stack or two no idea all I know is I've got a bunch made I've got enough material to make a bunch more. I should be sitting like a fat cat with a fully enclosed building with a beautiful slate slanted roof. Now that guy is pin you. and go this way. Huh? Not quite hungry enough to use that whole thing. Okay. You know what? We liked going this way better. We liked it even better when we didn't have the 20% penalty to our hunger rate. We're going to go around the lake and avoid the hills, which are not horrific by any means. And if and when we find more high fertility soil we will snag that stuff right up but I'm not holding my breath I never do but I do hope okay and we're running and we're running I think I'm imitating the girl in the movie, Dave, where he's uh, somehow becomes president of the United States, or at least acts as in that capacity. And she's giving a tour, walking through the West Wing or Oval Office or whatever, the White House. And uh, as she's moving, she's got her hands outstretched and she's got her two fingers set up like a, a airline stewardess would have 
saying and we're walking and we're walking I have all these things floating around in my head but I don't necessarily remember what the source is that one I just remembered oh, I just wanted one thank you for your generosity though This darker soil areas where I'm much more likely to find high fertility soil, but alas, it was short lived. I'm not coming after you, chicken. Dead pup? Nope. Soon to be dead parent or otherwise family member. Or not, we've got lots of this in our chest on our back. Where'd you go, little pup? That's where you went, little pup. Oh, what am I doing? Harvesting something you don't get anything out of that you actually want. If you get a hide from a pup, yeah, there it is. If you get a hide from a pup, it's small and it takes 25 of them to do a 50 liter batch and turn it into leather. For some reason, I feel like it's okay to just say no. I don't want to kill the pups, but uh, they turn into the big dogs with bitey teeth that want to chew me up and kill me. Where is that borax? There it is. Oh, I'm not going to get you right now. We're heading home. So right here, I don't know diagonally how many blocks I am away, but I am 6,000 plus one direction and uh, hello huh oh okay I understand now and some whatever thousand whatever 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 in the other direction don't know don't care Let's put some of this stuff away. Uh, okay. Well, that stuff's already rotted. You know what? That's actually perfectly fine with me. Terrible, I know. You've got a chert rock in you. Now you have more. Holy cow, the awesomeness stuff. That's great. Okay, farm will be expanded, but uh, no matter. Uh, what we have to do to preserve this, I, I could put it, I could put it in my cellar for a while. 
And then if I get more, well, look at that. That is a full load. Fresh rate days in the cellar. Full loads are how I want to do it. Maximizes things. Oh, so nice to have a home. We'll see what this gets us. I mean, that is that is a lot of roof tiles, people. That I'll be running through. Yeah, let's just continue this one side for now. This might be a problem here. Guess if I had to, I could move the translocator. I don't want to. Certainly not moving the house. But whether I have two overhanging roof tiles there or not, that is subject to what makes most sense. Definitely will give up cosmetics over function pretty much every time well oh, that's cool didn't know if I could put reach that far and put those up that's nice that's very nice all right so We've certainly extended the roof, but I, I can't even begin to imagine that I have enough slanted roof tiles to finish this. And I all likelihood do not have enough slate stones to make enough tiles to finish this roof with what I now possess. gone through a whole stack and some we have almost half of it roofed and I can go a long time before I worry about that that's oh did the other one fall no whatever you do don't fall wolf jeez just be more careful, man. Take more stock of what you're doing. And don't get in the way, I guess. so very pleased sure have no reason to that but I mean that's guaranteed I don't have enough to uh, do my roof with what I have but I'm pretty pleased to be able to have half of it 
done. And I am using more tiles really than I need to because I'm overhanging and not just one overhang. But two overhang. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. That is Wunderbar. Oh, that's right. I had started over here, hadn't I? But I only had so many blocks. Oh. Uh. Oops. Nope. Now can I get up here? Oh, look at that. Gee, <gasps> kiwi. Okay. Do that. Okay. Maybe I got the message. Maybe. Wow. And we're not going to do this overhang right now. Nice. I never realized that these were kind of flexible like I'm seeing right now. But I guess there's really only one way to place these, so that could be why it's being so flexible. Never thought I could reach that far and place these. Well pleased. No baby yet. But she's a pregnant. All right. It is so nice to get at least this much of the house covered. But we already know this is a problem because we just came through the translocator and ended up in a block of dirt. I wonder if I can walk under this. Yes, thank you. Oh, there goes your ladder wolf. Ask me if I care. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. probably won't move the berries. I think this will be just fine since I'm able to uh, walk underneath it so readily. Man, that looks pretty, pretty darn good. Wolf is pleased. Oh, that's a huge roof. That's a huge roof. But when you see the building, to me it feels proportional. This is the end of our episode. Thank you for watching. I've had fun and I hope you enjoyed watching yourself. Uh, if you're willing to subscribe, I'd sure appreciate that. Um, 
leave a like if you like the video and be happy to have any comments or questions that you might have and once again thank you so much and goodbye